Imagine being unable to bury a loved one in a cemetery because the deceased did not receive Holy Communion in the church. This is the alleged situation of a Shuzel family who was barred from burying a loved one at the River Dore Cemetery due to regulations of the Diocese of the Windward Islands. District Registrar in Shuzel, Mujin Mitchell, spoke to News Force about the unusual and unfortunate situation. I had reasons to register a person and then there is a slot saying place of burial and she could not determine where to bury although they have a tomb to house seven bodies at the River Dore Cemetery. Now, she tried to see if she could get other members of her family to make a plea to the church for her to bury the mother, but they said no. The tomb that they bought the, 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 the slot for $2,000 and they built a tomb there to house um, seven bodies. It's a family tomb. The father is resting in that tomb, but the mother died suddenly. And because she's not on the communion list, she couldn't be buried there. Mitchell claims that while the family could hold the funeral service at the River Dore Church, they had to find a place of rest for the body, which came at an additional expense. She says this is unacceptable, given that the family in question allegedly helped to establish the cemetery. They agreed to make the funeral for $300 there, but she has to be taken elsewhere. I find it is gross, grossly in, in, injustified for that because the forefathers of these children are the ones who donated that spot for the, for the, the cemetery. And if they have paid for it, it is theirs. And they can, put who, what, they can do whatever it is because it belongs to them. The District of Registrar is also in disagreement with Section 22, Clause 3 of the Regulations of the Diocese of the Windward Islands, which requires permission to alter the burial site. If they have to do anything like painting or, or cleaning or, or putting a reef, they have to put it in writing to take to the church before they can get the yes to go and clean their tomb. And they must say what day and what time. And this is an open slot. There is no gate or no wall or nothing there. Anybody, animals are free to roam. Every, it is opened. Mergen Mitchell is calling on the officials of Ecclesiastical Affairs and Legal Aid in Schwozal to intervene. The church is not about the laws of the island. And see in, the, in these matters, the matters of churches burying people and not allowing, as though they are playing God. Those who are saved and receiving Holy Communion will can go to River Dori, and those who are not saved or uh, will go to, to uh, going to hell will go to elsewhere. It, it is just unfair. I'm calling on the 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 lawyers Shazel has produced. And seeing to the matter is something of concern to, to, to all of us. According to Section 22, Clause 5 of the Regulations of the Diocese of the Windward Islands, quote, only communicants shall be buried in church cemeteries, end quote. Furthermore, Clause 3 states that, quote, payment of any fees prescribed for burials or gravesites in a church shall not in any case confer any exclusive right and perpetuity to a gravesite or for the erection of a monument or other structure. The rector may, with the approval of the bishop, grant written permission for the erection of a monument, end quote. The church says, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's. I think the tomb and the cemetery belongs to Caesar and we should free it up. Give it to Caesar. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.